Turning now to a new CBS News poll on how President Trump has handled the investigations into his campaign's ties to Russia. Only 37 percent of Americans approve of his actions so far, including the firing of the man leading one of those investigations, FBI Director James Comey. For more on this, I want to bring in CBS News Elections Director Anthony Salvanto. He's with me now from Washington. So, Anthony, what stood out to you most in these latest polls? Well, Elaine, when you dig in behind those numbers uh, across all Americans, you see that Donald Trump's strongest supporters, the base of the base, um, they've dug in. What they see is a witch hunt. They see a president who's being treated unfairly and given unfair coverage. They think they need to bolster him now because he's under fire from the establishment that he's trying to change. Well, beyond them, who are also taking this very personally, I might, I might add, feeling like these criticisms of the president also are criticisms of them for supporting him. Beyond them, you find a lot of people out there in the middle who were sort of wondering, well, does this speak to president, the president's judgment and temperament? Increasingly, they say yes. Or does it speak to a uh, sort of the business savvy, you know, deal maker in Washington who could enact an agenda that they wanted. Those folks tell us that they're increasingly worried he won't be able to be effective and and deliver that agenda, Elaine. Well, in one poll, 44 percent of Americans say the investigation is a critical national security matter. 32 percent call it a witch hunt. Um, what should we make then of this atmosphere moving forward? As you have members of Congress, for instance, beginning to ask questions, explain the backdrop here, the political landscape. Well, there's a lot of support, including for some of his more conditional supporters, those folks I talked about who say he's got to deliver on these policies for me to keep supporting him. There's plenty of support among them for having the Republican Congress push back against the president and be a check on the president when needed. Now, look, many of them feel that the president has nothing to hide. Many of them feel that the president did nothing wrong um, in these matters, including just maybe talk to uh, the former FD FBI director about the investigation, but didn't actively try to stop it. So in that sense, many of them are OK with a special prosecutor, if perhaps only to get to the bottom of things and maybe put it aside, because, again, they're focused on whether or not this president can actually deliver the legislation that they want, and that's where they're increasingly growing pessimistic. As optimism has fallen about whether or not he can deliver, you see also support fall away. It's not just about Russia per se, it's about that ability to deliver, Elaine. Specifically Republicans, Anthony, what did you find with respect to whether or not the president still enjoys the support of most Republicans? It's that break between those strongest supporters who incidentally say that they think the prescription for this is to give the president more power. They say if the president were to fall, were to uh, have the ability even to stop this investigation if he wanted to, uh, they would support that idea. But outside of that concentrated group, which makes up about a fifth of the country and about half of his overall support, then you get this other split where you've got a mix of Republicans and Democrats in there, but they're the ones who are much more, I keep saying, transactional. They're the ones who say, well, get to the bottom of things. We're not sure he did anything wrong, but keep things moving forward in Congress. Otherwise, otherwise, these are the people that the Republicans have to pay attention to because they're the ones who are not necessarily going to stay in support of the president. Another interesting number, you found that 63 percent of Americans believe there should be a special prosecutor in charge of the Russia investigation. That, of course, comes as former FBI director Robert Mueller's uh, appointment to oversee the probe. Uh, explain to us how significant that number is. Well, what you see is two sets. There's one set of folks, and they've been the more staunch detractors for, from the president from the get-go. For a lot of them, they think this confirms their suspicions. And they use words to describe the president, not just like temperamental, um, but also impulsive. So for them, they think that there was wrongdoing in this matter. That's what they believe. And so they're in support of the special prosecutor, ostensibly thinking that that'll get to the bottom of it on their side. However, there is a significant portion of folks who support the president who also say, go ahead and have a special prosecutor. But again, what you can read into that is they think the president's done nothing wrong and that this will in turn get to the bottom of it in that respect and, and perhaps even uh, show that, if they, that they believe that he's done nothing wrong. And Anthony, just by way of background, explain exactly um, the classifications here of Americans because it's not just for or against. 
Right. What we've been doing all along is looking at what people want out of policy and want out of Washington, as well as how they support the president and how they see this presidency. And so with respect to those groups, those strongest supporters that I've mentioned, their ranks have shrunk a little bit. The biggest movement we see here in the wake of this controversy are folks who are, we label more conditional. Those are the ones who say, well, we has got to deliver. And the people who were, we called them curious. They didn't support the president, but they wanted to. They wanted a reason to. And what we've seen is that those middle groups are shifting a little bit away from the president, again, because they worry that this reflects not on, only on his ability to enact his legislation, but also because it speaks to a judgment and a temperament that they increasingly tell us that they've been concerned about. So those are three of the, of the four splits, and the fourth, of course, are those uh, staunch resistors uh, who don't like any of his agenda and uh, think that there was a lot of wrongdoing, Elaine. All right, Anthony Salvanto in Washington for us. Anthony, always good to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Elaine.